Hey y'all, hey it's time for Saturday Suds. Welcome hardworking Americans. Glad y'all could join me today. I have got two brews for you today from a beer club. And these brews are from the Old Busthead Brewing Company in Vent Hill, Virginia. These are from a beer club now. They, they've, the first one is a Vixen Irish style red ale. We're gonna do it first. And the other one is Shorthorn American Pale Ale. We're gonna do it second, all right? So I'm gonna give you a little information about the old Busthead Brewing Company. It's named for a rural crossroads in the rolling hills of Fauquier County, Virginia. I <coughs> hope I'm saying that right. The locals who dubbed the corner Busthead enjoyed not only the potential, the potent libations brewed there, but also a little good humor. Busthead was a place that brought folks together in good spirits and built community. And that's what they hope to do at Old Busthead Brewing Company. While they're serious about the art of crafting, crafting exceptional beer and about their passion for the environment, they endeavor, like the folks who raised the glass at the first Busthead, to keep things playfully in perspective and make life a bit more enjoyable for all of us. At Old Busthead Brewing Company, they brew a wide variety of ales and lagers from pilsners to porters and beyond with a light heart and a serious attention to detail. Old Busthead beers are usually named for something tied to their local community. Old Busthead is, a, is an independent craft brewery with day-to-day -day operations being run by its owners who are also longtime community members. Their experience brewing traditional ales and lagers has helped them win awards in styles, classic, and creative. All right. Old Busthead Brewing Company, Vent Hill, Virginia. All right. First one we're going to try is the, the Vixen Irish Style Red Ale. And a little bit about it, it says, This deep amber Vixen, Vixen Irish Red has a luster as rich as the thick coated red fox that roams the local wood. Medium bodied with a clean finish, Vixen draws you in with a sweet caramel allure from up front and gives chase with hints of roasted malt through the taste. A tea-like soft bitterness on the back end is so pleasing you may just find yourself reaching for another glass of this wild, wily brew. It's won the 2020 bronze medal at GABF, the 2018 gold medal best of craft beer awards. All right, so we're gonna try this Vixen Irish style red ale first from the old Busthead Brewing Company in Vent Hill, Virginia. It's got just a simple black bottle cap, nothing special about that. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh yeah. Look at it, it is a red ale, look at that. A little bit hazy. Oh man. Mmm. Ah, that head is delicious. A little bit of sediment there in the bottom of it. Vixen. Irish style red ale from old Busthead Brewing Company. Let's that up there. I got a little box that I set these. <laughs> it's a little narrow box I set these bottles on so y'all can see them. And <laughs> it's not very stable. <laughs> anyway, whatever. I like to set my bottle up there because my buddy Chad I went to high school with. He, he suggested I do that one time. I thought it was a good idea anyway. Appreciate you, Chad. Glad you watch. Um, <clears throat> all right, so this uh, Vixen Red Ale is for all American workers. Hey, thank you for what you do. Work hard to provide for yourselves and your families and, and prov promote our economy. Um, thank you. I appreciate the work you do. 
Um, your work's important. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody's essential. Everybody's essential. Thank you, American Worker. Oh, man. Okay. I actually got this beer. Uh, I get a shipment every month of 12 brews from a beer club. And it's, it's, uh, I get them every month and I, I like, I don't try them before I do the review. So this is the first time I've tried this brew. And I'm telling you what, man, it's been sitting in my fridge. It's about, a, I got this one last month actually. And man, it is delicious. I wish I'd have reviewed it earlier. Oh, it's okay. So the head, the head had a kind of a malty flavor to it. Just light malty flavor, very delicious. The body itself is rich. Mm. It's rich. I, I, it, it has maybe just a tinge, just a slight tinge of bitterness. Not hardly any at all. Just a, just a tinge in the finish. But the body of it, man, it's rich, flavorful. Um, it's got just a kind of a robust, it's not hardly as robust as, you know, a darker beer. But it's got, you know, it's just, mmm, it's got a delicious flavor to it. Mmm, you see how the clinging to the edge there, the lacing on the, on the glass. Man, that is a good brew. Dad, gum. Um, let's see. 5% alcohol by volume. Let me tell you that. Deep amber. Yes, sir, it is. It's a deep, beautiful color. Beautiful taste. Man, very, very delicious. And the sad thing is, I won't be able to get this again. Old Busthead Brewing Company. I won't be able to get this again around here, you know. I, I hate that. You can't get brews like this unless, you know, it's through a beer club. But, if I had the opportunity, I would buy it again because it's delicious. The good thing is, I got at least two more of them that I can enjoy, you know, through my beer club. Um, very, very good. Mm. You just almost just savor it. It's delicious. It's a little, just a little bit heavy, not too much, but just a little bit. Man, very very good brew. All right, so let me finish this up, and then I'm gonna try our Shorthorn American Pale Ale. We're gonna try it next from Old Busthead Brewing Company in Vent Hill, Virginia. Mm. I'm gonna go rinse my glass. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I've got my glass rinsed out. Now we're going to try this Shorthorn American Pale Ale. My old Busthead Brewing Company. Let's see, it's plain old black bottle cap still. Nothing special about that. All right, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, this is a little... Doesn't look very pale, does it? Got a pretty color. It's not as, it's not as red not as dark, but it's still a uh, got a dark amber color to it. Let's see. Uh, this is 5.8% alcohol. 5.8% alcohol in this one here. Old Busthead Brewing Company. I'm gonna set that up there. See that? All right. <clears throat> Get anything out of the aroma. Mmm. Ooh. All right. So, 
And I'm not no beer genius or anything. I don't know a whole lot about beer. I know a little bit, and I'm still learning. I'm still in a learning process, you know, about different kinds of beer. But this right here is pale ale, American pale ale. I can, hmm. All right, y'all, so if y'all watch my videos, y'all know that I love hops. I love hops, man, IPAs, stuff like that, that, that strong hop character. I just dig it, man. I think it's delicious. Some people hate it. Some people don't like it at all. I really enjoy it. I mean, because to me, there is so many different characteristics in the hop flavor of different kinds of beers. Um, this one has it. This one has, in the head anyway, in the head it's got, I couldn't smell it, but it, it's got a, a distinct hop character in the head. It's a beautiful color. Pretty brew. It's got lacing, good lacing around the, the rim there. The head's not very big, but um, just a tad hazy, but uh, just a beautiful brew. All right, so this uh, short horn American uh, Pale Ale is for all American workers as well. I appreciate what y'all do. Love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for what you do. Old bust head uh, sends his regards. Oh, wow. All right. So I got a distinct hop character in the head. Man, it was just, oh, I love hops. And it was there in the head. Not so much in the body. Um, I get a little bit of it, but not as prevalent in the body as it was in the head. But it's very delicious. Um, it's got it's got just a little bit of hop in the body, but it's got a good um it's got a it's got i don't know it's kind of a uh, can't find the word y'all it's got just a hint of the hop in the body but it's also got a a robustness no that's not the right word it's not a robustness it's it, it's a smooth bear it's beautiful it tastes good it's hard for me to describe. Mm, it's got just a little bit of that, that hot flavor, a little bit of bitterness, but it's also got something else that I can't put my finger on. Um, I, Well, all I can tell you, y'all, is some good beer, okay? That's the best way I can describe it. Um, if you find some old bust head somewhere, especially if it's the Shorthorn or the or the Vixen, man, give them a try. I, I've enjoyed both of them. I'm glad I've got two more to enjoy of them because I won't never get them again, more than likely. But these are two outstanding beers, man. Very, very good. Uh, and it's so tragic that you know, I'm on, a, I'm on a group on Facebook called Alcohol Eggs, and man, all my brothers on there, you know, I was, I was invited by Ronald Terrio down in Louisiana, and man, brothers on there, they put all kinds of brews up there, man, all, you know, just brews that I, I've never seen before that I would just love to try. Sad thing is, man, you can't get these brews everywhere, you know, they're, they're like limited, limited you know, dist distribution of, of a lot of places and stuff, and it, it's just, man, I wish we had a, a, a more, I don't know, some kind of network or something where we could try different brews that we're interested in all over America, you know, because a lot of times you just can't get them. I mean, they're just not available in your area or whatever. Anyway, all right, so short, short horn, American Pale Ale, if you ever get a chance, try it, man. I suggest you try it, because it is delicious. I love it. And I loved them both. Both of these were outstanding beers. All right. So, y'all, that's been Saturday Suds. Gone on a little bit too long, longer than I want to, but 
like the video, there's a little beer mug right here. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm on Rumble as well. I'm here every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday trying a different beer. Saluting American Worker. Letting y'all know that I love and appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for the work that you do. Hey, love and appreciate everybody you come in contact with, y'all. It's just so important that we just love everybody. We're all the same. We all bleed red blood, and we are all the same, man. We want the same things. You know, just love and appreciate everybody. So important. I love and appreciate y'all. Hey, I'll be back next week for a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. Um, got something a little different I'm going to try for you next week. Y'all stay tuned. And take care.